You will learn in this lightboard session how to use Kubernetes network policy to filter the egress traffic based on an IP address or an FQDN. Let's see how this works. So we typically use the network policies when we want to filter traffic between mul one or multiple pods. So let's say here, for example, I have pod A and pod A will, come in, will connect to pod B. So I can apply a network policy that will allow this connection. And then if I have another pod, let's say, for example, pod C, and I don't want my pod A to be able to connect to the pod C, then to here, I will apply a deny policy. So all of this would be controlled by the network policy that would, that would be applied between those pods or between namespaces or global network policies that will be applied for all the cluster. So that's my network policy. So we can apply it here and we can also apply it to control this traffic. So in order to allow or deny some traffic within the cluster. Now we have another use case. So applications typically will want to connect to some external services. So we might have here an external API that's an external resource of my cluster. And at uh, this pod, pod B wants to connect to that external API. And for organizations who wants to apply zero trust network, they want to be able to control and filter the egress traffic that is going outside of the cluster. So here they would have a firewall that will go to filter the traffic. So that's a firewall. It could be actually anything that is MVA network virtual appliance like an Azure firewall, for example. So this egress traffic will be filtered at the firewall level. So at the firewall level, the way we filter this traffic is by relying on the IP. So we would have actually a list for allow services by IP. And typically this external API, it would have a, an IP address. So we can allow access to that external API. The issue here is that if we do that at the firewall level, it means that pod B will be able to access, but also pod C, who doesn't require to be accessed, will also get access because the level of filtering here is for the firewall. So anything that is before this firewall would have, will be able to access that external API. And here we want to, to have more fine grained control access. So we want to allow access for only pod B and not pod C and not pod A. So how we do in this case? So there are a few options. Either you assign your pods to well-known IP addresses. For example, you put them within a specific subnet and then you allow access for that subnet by side arrangers. Or you can leverage a solution that is already here, which is network policies. So actually with network policy, you can apply it to the ingress traffic and also to the egress traffic. It's not applicable only between, uh, for the traffic between the pods. You can apply it for any egress traffic and you can configure it for egress traffic that is specific to a specific IP address. So within this network address, you can, this network policy, you can allow a specific IP or side range of IPs if you want. And you can, because this is a network policy, you can specify which pod would be allowed to access that external IP address. Great, so this is native to network to Kubernetes network policy. This means you can implement it and you can uh, do that either using Cilium or even before Cilium, we talk about the Calico network policy or also the Cilium network policy. Now here we still have an issue. If we filter the egress based on this IP address for the external API, we know those external APIs will have changing IP addresses. So we need to keep changing those IPs in our network policies. And many services would, ha would just give you an FQDN or a URL to access that service. So that means here I might have another pod. Let's say this is pod D, for example, who will require to access another external service, but this one would be based on an FQDN. This external API would have a unique FQDN. And of course, this is way much better because if those IP changes, if those IP addresses changes, the FQDN is always the same. So here in the network policy, if I can filter that egress traffic using the FQDN, that would be really useful for me. But this is not a native Kubernetes uh, feature, actually. We need to leverage some other tools in order to 
uh, allowed. So for a network policy to have control over that egress traffic based on FKDN, we need to use some other tools. So let's start first with Calico. So Calico, they have the open source version, OSS, that supports only filtering based on IP address. If you want to filter based on the FQDN, then you will need to use the enterprise version of Calico. And for Cilium, they have an open source version, OSS. And for that OSS, there is two versions for AKS. One that could be installed as an add-in to AKS, and that version doesn't support layer 7 egress traffic that uses the FQDN. So to do that, you'll need really to use the uh, open source version and to install it yourself. So you install the, you create an AKS cluster that uses bring your own CNI plugin, and then you install Cilium as a Helm chart. And with that full open source version, you will get the full features available within the open source version, including the egress on layer seven. And of course, Cilium also have an enterprise version that have even more features than just uh, filtering based on egress, where you can apply those network policies also to the host node and so on. But there are also some other options. There's a service meshes like Istio and Linkerd, they also support layer seven egress filtering traffic. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.